click like on the Spasmo 13579 page on Facebook for product updates, new videos, pictures, and monthly giveaways. It's all at facebook.com slash spasman13579. Hey guys, it's spasman13579 here. And um, for this episode 2 of DCC for Dummies, we are going to explain how to install your brand new DCC system into your new layout. As you can see here, I have the MRC Prodigy Express but this should work for any type of DCC system including Lens, Digitrax, NCE, uh, Bachman, and so on. So first of all you're going to want to plug in your power pack and I know with um, some manufacturers such as Digitrax they don't come with a power supply which is kinda of dumb I don't know why they do that but anyways just plug in your power supply just like normal and you should have a plug going down like this one. I modified mine, don't worry about this wire coming off here. But let's just plug it into your power supply or screw in like your other leads do. Now that you've plugged it in and turned the power switch on, if there is one, you should see some kind of notification that the system's on. Like on mine, I have a power light here. And also, if I, pl if I uh, put in some information from there, you can see that the link uh, button or the link light will turn on. And also on your throttle you should get some confirmation that it's on. As you can see right there, it's on mine. Sorry for the blurriness of this, but you should have um, two separate wire leads, or four I guess you could say, coming off of the back of your power pack. I know with NCE that you do not have that, you only have two coming out the back. But with most others, you have four. Two are for your main track, as you can see right there. It's lettered. And two are for your program track, as you can see again right up there. Two so going to your program track. Most of the time, you will not need a program track when you're starting off, but for um, more CVs and that kind of stuff, or for back EMF, you're going to need that. And I have these two leads going to my program track down there. I'll get to that into a separate video because we're not really going to focus on that right now. What we are focusing on is the main track lead right here. And that is going to be connected to our rail. You can do this in a couple different ways and I'll show you how you can do that. You can simply just connect the red wire and the black wire to any piece of your track. If you have a small layout that is like a 4x8, this should be perfectly fine for you. And, um,. What this will do, actually, my wire is broken right there. But as long as you keep everything together, red and black, it should be perfectly fine. And again, if you have just two wires coming up, you'll be fine. If you have a small four by eight layout, for anything bigger though, you're gonna you're going to want to do the um, method of a track bus wire, and that is a wire going underneath all of your track, and then with um, feeder wires they're called going up from underneath the roadbed solder to each three foot piece of your track so like if you have a nine foot main line there's going to be three pieces of uh, wire solder to it that's a lot more efficient because with uh, ohm resistance and stuff and current if you have a train right here if you have your leads right here and you have a train way over there the problem with that is you're going to lose some current all the way over there because your main power source is coming from here. If you have it evenly distributed, it's going to be the same speed, same amperage, same resistance all the way around the entire layout. And that's what I have going here um, on every one of my tracks, every three feet at least, I have uh, wires going to the tracks. And that makes it so no matter where the train is, it's doing everything that it should be doing and everything that another train will be doing. And then the last step, obviously, is just plugging in your cab if you have one. There's no special tools or anything required unless you're using, like, one of those weird panels that Digitrax or NCE has, or MRC has too. I have my MRC thing, main station, just screwed onto with two screws. But you can have it on a board like down there, 
can just sitting there or you can have it mounted wherever. I just have it there for convenience and so I can get to the back of it. But um yeah. Then you can have this. I'll show you how to make these later too. These are really nice. I made them myself. But yeah. So that was a really quick uh quick episode here on DCC for dummies. And I hope you guys learned something. Thanks for watching.